Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another videos for MRCS exam. Uh, the question, first of all, read the question very carefully. Where does extension duct primarily open? That means extension duct, it is on of the duct. First of all, we have to know where it arises and then it will be easy for us to see its course and where it drains. So here are the options. So the options are immediately lateral to foramen cecum floor of the mouth opposite the second molar tooth opposite the fifth molar tooth and into the post nasal spaces so now we have to find out the extension duct and then it opens so let's see the here we can see it is the head neck and face area in this area we can see here this is a gland this gland is the parotid gland and here this is another gland this is sub mandibular gland and another gland this is sublingual gland they are this salivary gland gland which lies around the face so here we can see the different duct arises from the gland and they finally ends into the oral cavity so here uh, the parotid gland from the parotid gland we can see a duct is arises and this duct is parotid duct the another name of parotid duct is extension duct another name of the parotid duct is extension duct and we can see this duct is crosses the masseter muscle then pierces the vaccinator muscle and finally open here and we can see this is the this is the second molar tooth uh, in this picture we can see another here we can see this is the parotid gland here is submandibular and they are the sublingual gland and there are three pairs of the gland they are this major salivary gland around the oral cavity and we can see uh, all of the gland contain ducts the parotid gland its ducts is extension duct and it opens into oral cavity in the vestibule of the mouth and relation to the opposite the crown of the second molar tooth and we can see the sublingual gland it also have the duct and its duct is Wharton duct and it opens at the frenulum and the sublingual duct here we can see they open at this area in this picture we also can get the same picture but this picture is very very important because uh, some of the question um, generally arises from here that is the parotid gland and from the parotid gland the duct arises it opens in the mouth and the second molar tooth here the first molar tooth here the second molar tooth and in front of it this is premolar tooth and from there it is the canine tooth so they are the glands so finally it is very easy question that the extension ducts this is the duct of the parotid gland duct and it opens the opposite the second molar to the upper other options such as the foramen cecum uh, floor of the mouth opposite fifth, fifth molar tooth. actually there is no fifth molar tooth and into the post nasal cavity they are not true so opposite the second molar tooth it is the answer of the question thank you all